Hey, everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome back to the wonderful, enclosed, and claustrophobic world of compact claustrophobia. I'm joined, as always, by Jenkin Nick. How's it going, man? Hello! It's going very well, thank you, man. Doing all good. Doing all good in this fine, compact world. It's very, very compact, Nick. However, just in the last stream, we managed to finally get a new fission reactor, Nick, baby's first fission reactor, making our world ever so slightly bigger. It is quite big, actually, for a baby, Isaac. The birth weight on this one, quite high. To be fair, though, Nick, we actually don't know the size of this compact machine. If you think about it from like a physical time and space perspective, if you back out... That's true, actually. It could be tiny. This tube is very small. If you back out again... That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I think this is kind of like an Ant-Man situation, right? Where everything inside of the cube is shrunk down to be smaller, right? So exactly. I think from that perspective, if you were to take this reactor out to the main room but keep it at its current size, it would be minuscule. Mm, It'd be tiny. impossibly small to see. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. So as I alluded to at the end of the last stream, Nick, what I want to work on, at least at the start of today's stream, is uh, trying to automate a system that turns the fission reactor off yeah. When the energy cell is full. Yeah. Because otherwise, we're just going to keep burning through LEU-235 fuel, despite the fact that we don't need to burn through excess LEU-235 fuel, right? So, my plan for this involves a little bit of um, of Project Red. Uh, and I'm going to oh. make a few uh, a few little bits and pieces, Nick. Yeah. Interesting. A few little... Um, Tidbits, as it were. Project, Project Red is like the like electronics enthusiast version. Like mod, right? It's yeah, like it's if got you all like the tinkering XOR with things. Gates, NAND gates, yeah. and gates. Yeah. This is always good. Okay. So, see, Which when... I'm sure you're very familiar with. Oh, I am. Too familiar, Isaac. Too mm. familiar. The amount of gates I do. Oh, I need to draw them. You have to have gates going to gates. Freaking and gates, oh. null gates, bill gates. You can't get away from the I gates, know. man. Oh, jeez. It's, it's <laughs> just a gate, 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 gate. You know, freaking like farm gates, man. That was my favorite yeah. one, actually. Farm gates. If, um, while I work on that, man, um, if you come back to the main room. Sure. We, I think, Nick, are on the precipice now of being able to make an even bigger room Ooh. than our already big IMAX room, right? Which is a, uh, a nine by nine. Yeah. I think that we are getting close to being able to make our first giant compact machine. Oh my machine. goodness, we're at the giant level, are we? So the giant compact machine. Oh, has crap. two recipes, right? Right. We need to do it with the second recipe that requires six glitch to large machines. Right. To make the glitch large machine, we need to put a large compact machine into the pressure poop injector that we made previously with 256 FE per take of power and 32,000 millibuckets of storage. So right. my question to you is, can you upgrade our, can you augment, I guess, our pressure poop injector? Basically, I need you to upgrade the tiny fluid input hatch to a higher tier of fluid input hatch, one that can hold 32,000 millibuckets, and can you upgrade the tiny energy input hatch to a higher level of energy input hatch, one that can receive 256 FE per tick of power, now that we're making that power from our new fission reactor. Okay, so um, it was how many millibuckets, sorry? 32,000. 32,000, right. So we're going to need a big fluid input hatch. I like that. Oh, we need a big a one. A big. A big. <laughs> a uh, big fluid input a hatch. A big. <laughs> Here we go. Energy input hatch and a third... How many FE tick per tick was it? Sorry? Uh, we need to do 256. 250. Okay, that's that's much better. We just need a small energy small. input hatch. Yeah. Nice. That, SMOL. That right? takes 512. SMOL. Yeah, exactly. Okay, nice. nice. All right, beautiful. So let me just... Um, let me proceed with that order. The energy input hatch has been upgraded. Excellent. Okay. Do you want to come to the uh, the energy production room, Nick? And I will try my best to explain my <laughs> janktastic system for configuring this. Okay. Room. Let me let me like channel my concentration. All right. Okay. Here we go. So Ugh, I'm ready. We have an energy cell. Let's say that we put the energy cell uh, like right here. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna have energy cell. Here. What we want to do is we want to get energy into that cell from our reactor. That is perfectly fine and doable. Let's say we just do something like this, right? Mm -hmm. Easy, easy. Now, if we take a comparator 
and you put it down in front of an energy cell, it emits a redstone signal relative to the level of fullness inside of the cell, right? Sure. So if it's completely full, it will emit a redstone signal strength 15 because that's the max. If it's completely empty, it will emit a redstone signal strength of zero because that's the minimum. And then anywhere in between, it'll do one to 14, right? Cool. Got so it. if we do something like, and this could be easier if I remove this horribly placed uh, thing that I've put here. Actually, let, let, just to make it so we can walk around, I might do something like this. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. You know, so we can get back and forth. Uh, but if I do this, uh, this is a comparator from uh, Project Red, but a regular comparator would do here. Sure, 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 sure. And this wiring is also from Project Red, but oh, again, a regular yeah. one would do I, here. I miss that wiring, man. That wiring is good stuff. It's nice, right? Yeah. So the benefit of this is that this... Oh, I guess it's a benefit and not a negative, depending on how you want to use it. But uh, this doesn't lose normally with redstone. You put redstone down, uh, like oh, uh, it loses power. It loses a signal, right? It does. As it goes normally. down. Mm -hmm. Redstone does. This doesn't. Excellent. Right? So the trouble is, right? What we want to do is we want to have like a, a red alloy wire, like here, right, up under the uh, fission controller. We want that to turn on when this energy cell here is not full, right? So right. if this is not full, we want the fission reactor to turn on so that it produces power, and then when the cell is full, we want this to turn off, right? Yeah. So, my like one way you can do this that is really awkward and that we've done before is you can take, like, it's like regular... block redstone torch, right? To create the um That would create the, the invert. Yeah. Yeah, but so normally what you do is you would take... And this will work, but I, I, I dislike it greatly. Normally what you do is you take regular redstone, because regular redstone does lose it, and you do 15, 14, 13, you know, 12, oh, 11, 10, 9, you know, exactly. you try and make it far yeah, enough away. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. That's horrible. I don't like it. And also it's hard to do in such a small space. Sure. So, alternative plan is you take the red alloy wire, which keeps a full signal strength, Right, and then you use a not get over here, so that's going to invert the final signal. Right? Yeah. So right now that's on because it's not receiving a signal. Yeah. Um, which is fine, and just to make sure we don't waste any fuel, I'm going to temporarily delete that. We can put that back down in a minute. But essentially, what I'm thinking we do here is we can use like an extra little added sneaky bit of this uh comparator here, because you'll notice the comparator has like plus and minus buttons on it. Yeah. So is that like um changing its sensitivity basically? Well. I thought so, but it turns out not. I've made a little screwdriver here, Nick, in my uh, in my hand. Oh. It turns out you can shift right click on this uh, to make it to, to swap it around. You'll see by default the red line kind of goes in from the bottom through the plus sign and then out. If you shift right click, it goes through the minus sign and then out. Oh, if that makes okay. sense. Yeah, yeah. So what we want to do here, and in fact, I might want to move this forward by one. This is where things get a little janky because <laughs> what I need to do is I'm gonna a signal's gonna come out of here right? Yeah. That is going to be anywhere between 0 and 14. Mm -hmm. We want to make sure that if the signal is between 0 and 14, the reactor turns on. If it's 15, the reactor turns off. Sure. Right? So I think what we should do is we can place down a hopper. Bear with me. <laughs> right? Wow. Okay. Yeah. Place down a rogue hopper that does nothing. Mm -hmm. Hold still. We then take... Let's say, hold on, let me go into uh, actually hell. Let me grab a bunch of cobblestone. Okay, so we're going to fill that up, right? So I'm going to take the, the hopper, I'm going to fill that hopper with stuff. Because now, if you put down a comparator here, this emits a redstone signal strength 15, right? Right. Which we'll see, if you look at that wire, it says power 15, right? Uh, yes, yeah, yeah. So, we're taking... The signal. We want to lower that. I want to lower that to, to, to 14, I think. So I'll take a bit out. Does that say 14 now? It does. Ooh. Okay, so if you look in the hopper, we've got almost all of it full of cobblestone, apart from the very last step, Sure, right? sure. Which brings it down to, to 14. So now, what is happening is a redstone signal comes out of here, anywhere from 0 to 15. It goes into here. It then, 14 is then subtracted from that number. Yeah, yeah, because comparing so it's almost, the difference. So it's almost always, it's not comparing anything, basically, but it's just, we're subtracting the 15 from this number that comes in, so it's almost always going to be, sorry, we're sub subtracting 14 from what comes in, so it's almost always going to be zero, right? This one coming out here yeah. is almost always going to be zero, unless this is at 15. If this is full, this right here is going to emit a redstone signal of one, which, as it turns out, is fine because these don't lose uh, any redstone signal over time. And so we can take that one, run it through the not gate to invert it from 
uh, positive into negative, and then that negative there will then turn off the reactor. Right, right I see. Okay. Does this <laughs> rendered system make sense? I was following it. Um, yeah. So, signal comes out of here. So, what's the significance? Oh, so this is measuring the the how full this is. Okay. Yes. So, and that emits signal relative to how full this is. Yep. That then comes here. Yep. This is a set level. Right. Yes, that's so, always going to be faulty. Yeah, exactly. So this this is required to as as the the kind of the baseline of what then this should like. So this one here takes the main signal coming from the cell, subtracts the fixed fourteen yeah number, and then emits the result. Yeah, yeah, and then and then that then goes here. This inverts it. So I I, I yeah I get it I get it. So essentially, when this goes to fifteen, um. This gets subtracted from this, which is zero. Yep. Um, and then when it's zero, this turns on. Well, so yeah, so when this hits 15, yeah. the subtraction of 14 will leave it with one that emits. Right, 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 right. Got it, got it. Do you know what I mean? So when it hits 15, 15 minus 14 is one. So that means that this here will be no longer zero. That will trigger the not gate to swi uh, switch from on to off because the wire that's going into yeah. it on which and will turn off the reactor. Will turn off. Got exactly. It. Okay, I and see. then when the reactor turns off, that'll obviously start to lose cell. So obviously we could change the number coming out of the hopper to configure how full we want the cell to be. Yes. Right? Yeah. I got you. Got you. Right now it's up in such a way that unless it's actually full, it will it, the reactor the the uh, fission reactor will always be yeah. Up, right? Yeah. Whereas it could be like 50%, it could be 30%, it could be 75%. Yeah. It could be whatever we want it to be. Now, the good news here, Nick, uh, I've set this up on the floor as kind of like a, a demonstration, but the really cool thing about the uh, the, the red power switch, oh, you can actually put it on the walls. Oh, you can put walls. it on the walls. Oh, yeah. that's, so, that's actually really good for this, because you can take advantage yeah. of the, the walls that's of these what I'm compact saying, machines. Right? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So I if like you want to head back uh, through and keep making those, yeah. uh, I'll work those parts, those upgrades. Yeah, I'll, try, yeah. uh, I'll try moving this <laughs> nonsense. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> Isaac, I've, I've just put down the big fluid input hatch. This thing is Feeling, oh, oh, oh look oh, at that! Oh, nice, jeez, nice. Okay, so we need to get, uh, I need to get some more leadstone flux ducts because we need to get power to this. Uh, oh, no, you need to upgrade the input hatch, right? This energy one over here. Uh, so this small one is upgraded. It can hold five hundred twelve. Oh, it wasn't hours, tiny, it was right? Tiny yeah, before, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. I see, I see. It was just okay. a minor upgrade. Re upgrade required for uh for that thankfully uh just a right, single case, single man. single level i'm, I'm coming back in with some uh some flux ducts and we should just be able to do i guess something like this and then yeah. that should start oh, filling right. up with uh with juice from our new reactor okay, it is so well, i guess we've got to make a big uh compact machine right to test it well, out we've got a we've got to make six Mm, in total so, for the giant. Well, well, if you c come on out, Nick, into the main room. Right now, our biggest compact machine, if you if you come into the uh, the main room here, is IMAX. Yeah. Right. We have one of these. We need to make six more of yeah, these. Yeah, that's. Mm. <laughs> right. Let me have a look. It's, uh, ooh, uh, uh, uh. It shouldn't be too bad. It shouldn't be too bad. So. Um, actually, one thing, that quick detour. Uh, people have been shouting at us in the YouTube comments uh, for all manner of things. Um, and thank you, YouTube comments, for for being here and, and shouting. But um, one of the things that they have been shouting at us for the most part about is the crafting calculator. Nick, because the crafting calculator is a really nifty little device uh, oh, yeah. that should allow us to more easily see how much of each resource we're going to need to make a given uh, device. Oh, that makes sense. nice. Okay. Let's have a crafting how cute oh oh it's quite cute it's like yeah. a five button job are you making one uh, i am making one yes um, beautiful do we have cactus we totally do nice we only have one so i feel like i should definitely like um be grow a second cactus before i you know use the one that we already have do uh, we have sure. snet are we snared free? I think we are. I think we've been through. Yeah, we we don't have it, man. I think really? I remember you being really sad that we don't have. A snad. I'm extremely sad. It, yeah, no snad equals sad. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. Man. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> snad makes you mad. 
No the snad of... makes you mad, even. Sorry, yeah, snad sorry. makes me very happy. Lack of snad makes me mad. Yeah, snad, snad makes you like euphoric. Not even just happy, like, <laughs> like releases dopamine <laughs> with the snad. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe even some pheromones as well. Oh, the snads. Don't get me started, man. Okay, here we go. So here is um, a crafting coach. Thanks, so. man. Oh, it's ca- it says Casio FX 99DE <laughs> Plus on it. And it's got well, a solar I mean, panel on it, Isaac. Nick. If you uh, if you shift right click, it turns into a math calculator. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? And then hell? if you just just right click it, it's actually just a calculator. Oh, <laughs> that's quite useful, you know. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, so if you oh, need to uh, you nice. know multiply some numbers together, you can just do that. Mm, but um, if you shift click it back to the crafting calculator, yeah, this is where things get interesting. So if you type in compact into JEI, right mm-hmm. inside of the crafting calculator, if you click the little plus. Uh, like green plus in the yep. top right, the one that says new recipe. Yeah. And then if you go to the large compact machine, hover over that, uh, press R, and then like shift click the recipe in. Yes. Oh, yeah. It's, it's done it. And then just click the little floppy disk save. Uh, let me just make sure that, so the large compact machine, I think I've I, I've accidentally, oh God, oh, I put the wrong recipe in. Uh, oh, no, it uh, is. Oh, yeah. No, it's, are you wanting to do the, yes. Yeah, so are you teaching it the, uh, miniaturization recipe. I, th- I, th- you know, that's where I've gone wrong. Oh, Let we can't me. teach you the miniaturization recipe, right? That's that's mm, problematic because we can't craft. I guess it's crafting, right? Not a miniaturization calculator. No, no, it could do it, but we can't use the we can't craft the large machines using the miniature multiple miniaturization because we don't have a big enough field. Uh oh. So the nine by nines, we have to make six nine by nines. The nine by nines, unfortunately, we can't make. We can make the seven by sevens using the miniaturization field. Because that can be done in a three by three by three field, but the nines, the but nine by nines has to be done in a five by five by five field, which we don't have. If that yeah, makes sense. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, right. so IMAX was not created with miniaturization, is what you're no, saying? No, it was made. Well, no, because that's IMAX is the room that houses the miniaturization yeah, as well. Yeah, it needed miniaturization technology. Right. If you teach it the recipe for the craft that requires the normal machine pieces, uh, yeah, but it's, yeah, yeah. So the large compact machine using the normal pieces. Yes. Yeah. Uh, let me press R, shift, right click. Okay. So one large compact machine is made using a crafting table with four compact machine wall, four normal compact machine pieces, and a machine casing. Yes. So right now, do you so do you see like uh, in the box next to the hammer? Do you see a large compact machine? Uh. Mm, if you drag a large compact machine from JEI into the box next to the hammer. Uh, I've got a different screen to you. I'm looking. Mine says default at the top. Um, and... Yes, yeah, so you've not clicked save. Or if you click save, you oh, need to right. go back. Click save. Okay, okay. So now, if I drag this into there. Okay, yeah, I've got yeah, I've got it. Got it. Does it show down here? Does it show compact machine wall, normal machine pieces, and machine yeah, casing? Yeah. Right. Yeah. So in the box, in the like the number box, you can type in like 150 and it'll show <laughs> the numbers go up, right? Right. Okay, I see. But we can take this one step further because now if you go ahead and click R on compact machine wall and you teach it the miniaturization recipe. So again, just shift click it in and then click save. So new recipe, compact machine wall, um miniaturization is the one you want. Miniaturization. Um, save. Yeah, um, you'll notice it's changed the requirements oh, for the has. large compact machine. It's told you now you need one iron block and two redstone. It's gotten but, rid of the compact machine. Yeah, wall. it has. So then, real quick, if you press R over the iron block, again, you don't have to um, click new recipe first by the looks of it. You can just click R on the iron block and then shift click in the recipe for an iron block, click save. Now it's going to tell you you need nine iron. Oh, right? oh, okay. So we could do the same with the machine casing. So press yeah. R, shift click it in, click save, do the same with the redstone block. You know, you can, you can teach it what is needed. Um, if we do it with the machine piece, so the normal machine piece, click R, uh, shift click in, save that compact fluid recipe. And then, you know, on the compact fluid, it looks like you can't click R there, but if you go into JEI, I'm pretty sure you can click on it uh, and press R, uh, teach it the melter recipe, then click save. And then if you do the compact machine seven by seven recipe with the miniaturization field, click save, uh, you get an idea of how much of each thing is needed for one large compact machine, if that makes sense. Yeah, so now I'm at like 11 redstone, four modularium, nine iron ingots, four normal compact machines, then I can teach it. To teach it the compact machines, yeah, with the miniaturization with the field. the miniaturization. You should end up with like four ender pearls, four, four gold, gold 63 iron. Yeah, oh, and so now at the top, type in six, 
Oh. And that's what we need. Oh, right? okay. So 109 redstone dust, 12 modularium, 369 iron. It's really not that bad. Yeah, when, when it's laid out like this, I mean, spend half the time getting some stuff and it ends, ends up not being enough. Yeah, that's that's why people have been shouting at us. <laughs> the YouTube comments are like, get the crafting calculator, you turkeys. Right. I but yeah, see. I was expecting a lot more modularium. But I guess now that we're using the miniaturization field for a lot of this, yeah. it's not quite as I'm bad. I'm going to teach right? it the ender pearl. Here we oh, go. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah. go for it, right? Yeah. And then it, now much... it'll tell me how much obsidian we need. Yeah, I'll yeah. Teach it the block of gold. There we So I bro this is now broken down into its very basic components. Do you have 349 redstone, 12 modularium, 369 iron, 216 gold, and 624 obsidian? Absolutely. Perfect. It's, See, that's all we need. This is nice how little modularium this this actually needs. I now know, we've got right? the miniaturization <laughs> field projector, right? That's so nice. And I think, yeah, if you click the... Uh, so right now we're on... Uh, you'll see there are four buttons above. We're on the inputs right now. If you click the the like last one that steps, the little paper bit, it'll show you that those 24 ender pearls will show you the blocks. You know, it'll uh, show you the bits okay, right. needed intermediary. I so see. Do you, Nick, want to... I'll make the ender pearls, man. Okay, you make the ender pearls. Um, I will gather the... So you use the field projector for that. I'll yeah, you have to head into iron. actually hell and grab like a ton of iron and gold and just smelt yeah. it all in the yeah. the nuclear furnace. You could probably make another nuclear furnace if you really wanted to um, as well. Like it's, you know, it depends yeah, on how fast you think it's going to go. Yeah, I made actually for the reactor. And it, was, it wasn't too bad. Like we had all the resources. So let me see. Nice. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Oh, I'm just going to hit one. <laughs> right, 369 iron. That's going to be a fun time. Let's see if we actually have any it's, residue. Oh, it it, it seemed like a lot more, right? Like, I felt like making six large machine frames. Because, like, the crafts we did before, I felt like we needed, like, 16,000 iron grit. Right? Literally. <laughs> I, I think that was just pre-field projector. I think yeah. that's all it was. And that probably, I would have been interesting to do a side-by-side -side, um, yeah. with the old way of doing it, mm -hmm. right? Uh, that would have been like, that. now that would have been actually hell, Isaac. Yeah. yeah that, that would have been horrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, how much gold do we have? Gold, we have 11. Okay, so we definitely need to do that. Let me make another nuclear furnace. Nuclear furnace. Can okay. I just shift-click everything in? Ah, oh, almost. I just need... Two of these, two of these. Oh, yeah, totally can. Here we go. Boom. Nuclear Furnace V2 is uh, is now almost active. Let me get some uranium. This, <laughs> making 24 of these might take a minute. Oh, yeah, you have to, it's, <laughs> that's the one downside. Is you have to do it piece by piece, right? That's when um, QT2 will be yeah. the ultimate, uh, ultimate like help, or Wheatley, I guess, now. Yeah, we definitely, we, we've not set that up yet, but we definitely could do with setting that up. Hopefully uh, sooner yeah. rather than later to automate the production of Enderpearl so we don't have to do all of this uh, all of this manually, right? Nick, I'm pretty sure that this right here is the 24th. Perfect, perfect. All right. That we need. Excellent. So... 16, yeah, I've got 23, so this could be 24. So you can start, uh, what is it, a block of iron down at the bottom there? Uh, for the wall, let's have a look. Yeah, block of iron with a redstone on top. So have you crafted the iron into block form? I have, yeah. You have 41 iron blocks? I have 41 exactly. Get over here. Iron man. blocks. Here we go. Right, so. So you drop the iron block down. And then do I put the redstone? Do I actually like, yeah, there we go. And then you just drop a, drop another redstone? Perfect. Yeah. All right. Nice. Okay, so if you could stand on the outside, if you stand like on here, I'll stand on here. So you put down the redstone, uh, the, the iron? Uh, Yeah. I'll, so I'll put down the redstone, then we'll throw it. Perfect. We can be a tag team here, man. Excellent. We can have this done in no time. All right. How many uh, How many remaining? Isaac, four remaining, three now remaining in my inventory. We're so close. Nice. Um, And then after this, we literally just build a... We just build a massive stack of wall, right? Uh, well, after this, we have to do like the same thing I did with Enderpearls, but this time with... Uh, instead of redstone and obsidian, we have to do... Uh, wall and gold blocks, right? Uh, oh, right, yes, of we've course. Got, we, we've got to make 24 compact machines. Is this the last one? This is the last one. Okay. Yeah, so now you need to put down the compact machine wall with the gold in the middle. Okay, right? you have the blocks right. of gold. Yeah. yeah. So like that. Yeah, bingo. And I don't, I'm out of wall. This is my uh, oh, sorry. Um, right. Let me, let me... I'll let you go up there. Here you go. Let me... I'll complete this. Yeah, so... I'll get down. I've got the end of pulse. Da -da. Uh... So now you can start building the next one, but you just can't put the gold in until the very end. Uh, right. 
I see. Oh, so it's only the middle block that's like. Yes. Um, okay, I understand. So when that's done, you can just jump in the middle, pick it up, and then this takes forever. <laughs> yeah, it does, doesn't it? Jeez, I'm not surprised. There we there go. It is. It's only just finished. We got, Jeez. We got that 24 times. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> Oh. oh, all right. It's man. ready to go, man. It's ready to go. Oh, there we go. Oh. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> I guess Christ. it doesn't really matter that you can put the things down ahead of time because yeah, uh, not the fastest day. Eh? No, not really. There we go. And that. And that. Yeah, it doesn't matter that I'm, I can like I can do this like leisurely, man. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You got all the time in the world, man. Yeah, Take, your, Take your time. <laughs> Still going. Still going. All right, there we go. And you're up. Nice. Okay. Um, can we count this? Like, this is like I think it's like thirty seconds. There's no way. I feel like it feels like thirty seconds, man. It might be. Uh, oh, I've done this wrong. Well, I'm not doing it wrong. I just need to do this. There we go. There we go. Next one. So it takes however long it takes to do about half a break of obsidian. <laughs> right. Okay. Here Apparently we. wasps eat other insects, man. Oh my goodness. I guess that's yeah. why they're important then. Um, they eat bad insects. Like, uh, yeah. like vermin. Vermin. Maybe. Uh, <laughs> here we go. Oh yeah, no, it does say there. I forgot about that. Yeah, no. and next one. Okay, we're up. This is number five <laughs> of twenty of twenty-four. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, in actually, fact, I'll tell you what, Isaac. I've got the first four. Do you want to stick these okay. in the melter? Um, yeah, I'll give you these ender pearls. I'll let you do this dropping. Okay, sure. I'll go start making the first, the first thing. Sure, sure. Beautiful. Get me out of that freaking wasp room as well. Uh, so I need to swap this now we need to move this guy so that it goes over to the ingot former i think that's right right so we put this in the melt it turns into compact fluid we put the compact fluid into the ingot former and it makes the normal machine pieces yes beautiful so i should here be able to make our first large compact machine i will take that large compact machine into dupin and poopin i'll drop it into the item input hatch and that should in theory begin Maybe producing a uh, a glitched large machine? Missing input item, really. Do oh, I'm losing my efficiency. Oh. I'm a fool, chat. Ignore me. Whoops. Do, do, do. Let's do that. Hey, it's working. Nice. It's actually very fast as well. Oh, sweet. And we've got we've got we've got 180 buckets of poop ready to go. So oh, we're, we're beautiful. We're, we're ready, Nick. We're, we're ready. ready. So the, the the pooper is not going to be our bottleneck, which is grand. Which is very grand. Yes. Do you have another four ready for me, or at least three? Uh, I do. I have five ready for you. Here you nice. go. Could Next. I take three? You can have three. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Actually, in sets of four. So this that that set of three there takes us to the halfway mark. Oh, beautiful. All right. Fun times. Are you on the last batch? Is that what we're on? This is the final batch, man. Nice. All right. If you could bring that through once you've done, that'd be grand. I will do. It's just about halfway done. And here we go. I'm crafting the final one. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm going to make even more speed upgrades if we can. I'm using a lot of lapis and redstone to make all these speed upgrades, which is not great because we don't actually have like an infinite amount of lapis. We're not making it. It's made by uh, hitting steel pickaxes against the wall, so... Isaac, I think I might have given you slightly too much wall. Oh, actually... Uh, that is... Ooh. Yeah, I need... <laughs> I need one. Ah. I was holding one at the time. Like, I had one on me. I've got 30... Oh, there can you... Um, oh. Uh, I could try and, like, throw it... Oh. Can you place it here in this corner? <laughs> if you... Nick can you can you oh oh, oh. oh Lord, we can do this if i'm you, sure if you yeah this is not worth the time you, i understand yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right there it is it's the final one nice oh we got three minutes 
Oh, we got this. We've got loads of time. Okay. So are these going in the? Uh, they go uh, in the melter upstairs. Upstairs. Okay. Got it. All four at one time. Yes. Cool. Uh, and there it is. All right. Out of here into the upstairs area. The melter is here. Sticking the four in. They are in. Nice. We take the speed upgrades out. We put the speed upgrades in over here. Oh, nice. That does Again, go this quick, is not. Ooh. Yeah, but this is not the. Um, the tough part is the ingot form on the other side. Yeah. So the ingot former is nice in that it doesn't take power. Right. So this ingot former over here, the far left machine, uh, you can put as many speed upgrades in as you like to make it faster because right. it doesn't use any power. Um, but the, which is why I've made 31 speed upgrades, mm -hmm. you know, using at the cost of like 120 plus lapis. But uh, the trouble is it's still not very fast. Right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, it's not painfully slow though. Um, do you want to start putting together the, I'll give you those walls. Actually, I'll keep, let me keep uh, a few of those. I'll keep four. Do you want to start putting together the actual like miniaturization multi-block for the yeah, giant machine? Sure, sure. Let me just have Because the glitched walls go in the like side faces so you oh, can put okay. almost so, all of it down apart from the very last we can add those in at the end if that makes sense uh, let me have a look oh i see right okay yeah i understand let's go so just get the wall the wall ready to go here we go right. we've got 90 seconds <laughs> <laughs> right um hmm. so this goes down like this come on faster oh crap so d is one of does one of them go at the very bottom yes okay so this gets put there then this gets like this and then like this and like this all right one two yeah okay six all right i think it's um, ready to go man apart from so if you put one down on the where's the bottom oh there we go there it is and then i'll put that there okay get this one on the top for me oh right oh god and then throw the enderpearl at it as soon as you as soon as you go oh i don't have an enderpearl Oh, why? I'm, I'm, I'm out. I'm out. How? I gave you them all. The last one. Uh, the last one. I used the last one for the last block. How? I don't know. We didn't count factor it in. We don't have it. No. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, we've got oh. the, we've got the, we've got everything here. We actually here. got there. <laughs> we've got everything we, ready to go. We put it down. The thing that we don't have is the end of oh. because we only calculated for the 20, for the, the, Glitched machine frames. We didn't calculate with oh the giant compact machine. Oh my god! <laughs> oh no! Yeah, exactly right. Because um, <laughs> the crafting calculator, we only banged in the six large compact machines. Oh! This, I mean, that's a tease, <laughs> isn't it? That's a tease, <laughs> and we're out. Oh, Nick, I like to call it a cliffhanger for the next episode of Compact Claustrophobia. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>